A couple of years ago, I was talking to my mom on the phone, and I heard these horrible noises. You could hear the grunting coming up the step, which turned out to be Eric. But I was talking to Lori on the phone, and I, I didn't know if he had been burnt or just what had happened because his face was covered with blood. And he had fallen off the ladder. We didn't know what had happened to him at the time. I couldn't quite reach a bolt I was working on, so I kind of, instead of crawling down the ladder and moving it like I should have, I kicked, was kicking it sideways, and the next thing I knew, I was coming down fast. Uh, his injuries were everywhere. He had fallen on his head, so he had broken his eye socket both under and crushed it above. And uh, he had dislocated his shoulder and broke his collarbone and broke some ribs, broke his thrum thumb, dislocated his hip, um, and he had massive head injuries. He couldn't walk, talk, anything. He was completely, he wasn't in a coma, but he was absolutely lifeless. He, he just laid there. I had no idea how bad he was, but they, uh, I heard them talking at the hospital that they were going to get stars to take him to Calgary. The nurses had told my sister and I we should make funeral arrangements. It was that bad. And they led us to believe that, you know, if he lived, it probably wouldn't be that productive of a life. You know, they didn't lead us to have much hope for his recovery at all. It was much worse than, than I had thought. Well, when we initially took him home from the hospital, we had been led to believe that if he could walk and get himself around the house, maybe feed himself, dress himself, that would probably be the best that we could hope for. We were not given much hope at all in the recovery. The therapist that I was taking him to at six months said this is as good as he's going to get. Once he came home, it was very difficult for mom because he was, although he had by then started so that she could help him and get him where he needed to go and he could support himself somewhat, it, it was like having an enormous child because he had no memory. Um, he, didn't, he didn't know that he should eat or should go to the bathroom or anything. It was, you know, like seriously like taking care of a huge infant. He was very childlike, which we were prepared for that, but well, you're never prepared for to see an active person suddenly go downhill. But he couldn't do much for himself, and I was afraid to leave him alone. And also his days and nights were mixed up, so I never knew if he was going to go outside during the night, or I, I just didn't know what he might do. So it, it was quite a stressful time for the whole family, actually. I kept thinking I should be thankful that he's alive, but he wasn't the dad I had ever known. So as much as I was glad he was still there, I didn't, it wasn't like having my dad. You know, he. Some days, like most days, he didn't even know who I was. I, I see now that his overall health and his mind has improved, but I think the Empower Plus has uh, had a great deal to do with that. He's been on it, well, not quite a year, and I, I wish we had got it, you know, a, a lot sooner. Well, my dad started taking Empower Plus at about the same time that I started giving it to my children. I had heard of it, and especially with behavioral problems, and I have two boys that had difficulty sitting through school, paying attention. It was just always a struggle for them. My older two were fine, but the little two always struggled. And once I put them on that, it made an enormous difference where their teachers were calling me with happy phone calls, which I never had a happy phone call prior. <laughs> Lots of phone calls, just not happy. <laughs> Since he started on the Empower Plus, he has just improved tremendously. And he used to feel very frustrated because he couldn't find the words he wanted to tell you things. He couldn't read. He couldn't even be interested in a movie because he couldn't follow the storyline. It was just going too fast for him to soak it all in. Now I've started reading more, which I didn't do for a long time. And it seems to be coming very easy now. 
and uh, watching TV and stuff like that now hold more of an interest than it did before. And uh, his his memory, his his uh, even his vocabulary is so much better now. Like he still struggles to find the words he's looking for sometimes, but it's just a hundred percent improvement. I f certainly feel a lot better and everything. And uh... I I, th I think life with him is much like it always was, but now he does what I tell him more than he used to and. Uh, and he was always saying, I'm just so stupid, I'm just so stupid. And we spent most of our time reassuring them, him that he was not stupid. And since he's been on the Empower Plus, we realized one day that he doesn't say that at all. It's really helped his perception of himself as well. He doesn't feel stupid anymore. I'm sure I feel smarter anyway. <laughs>